welcome back to my bathroom and welcome to episode 18 of Is It <laughs> Today it's a Timu haul and we have some temporary hair extensions from Amazon. We'll try all this together and rate it one through 10. It's gonna be a ride today. Hopefully not downhill. And ladies, I'm back in with a tea bag. Bigelow, Gigolo. This is toasted coconut and almond bark, right? 10 out of 10, thank you for recommending this. Cheers. First up, we have hair glitter. This was a dollar. This is a burnt orange, very pumpkin spice. It goes on the roots of your hair when you're going to like a festival or something. Um, I'm just gonna wear it to the grocery store, which honestly feels like going to a festival sometimes to me. The music, all the choices, all the people, the cars. <sighs> the shopping cart never works. It's got a bald wheel. People looking at you, it's too much. We'll try this when we do our hair extensions because I've got a ponytail one, a sleek ponytail. Oh, it stays on pretty good, kinda. So far, I'd give it a solid nine. This is a contour tool for makeup. You take this little hook and put it on your ear. That tells you where your bronzer is supposed to go. I'm gonna use something dark, Bora Bora. I got this out of an Ipsy bag, I don't know. And you apply it to the cheek. Wait a second. There's a very straight line you would need to blend. It says to also use it at the jawline to make it look like you have a sharp face. Then you use this little cattail for the nose part. What do you think? with the contour, without the contour. I sweat too much to be doing all that. I mean, I think it's cool. How do you blend that? I have no idea. I'm gonna give it a five because I just don't know about it. Banana earrings. These were $1.34. Did y'all watch 90 Day Fiance? Where the deaf guy was explaining his intimate relations with his new lady. His banana, her donut. His banana wouldn't fit in her donut. <gasps> Silence is the loudest sound you can make. Anyway, back to the banana dong earrings. I think they're great. I like them. They're a little bit heavy, but not too heavy. It has a flat side and the 3D side. These are great for me, 10 out of 10. These are ant toothpicks. You get six of these for $1.34. Oh, that only fits one piece of cheese. Okay. Crack some olives on here. I love some olives. Oh wow, that is fun. Look at that, whoa. A little top heavy. Look at that for a party, a picnic party. I love that. I love this cheese too, but dairy makes my stomach hurt. Here for a good time, not a long time. I love this, these are a 10. I mean, the toothpick could be longer. Oh yeah, had a lot of earrings in this round. This is the last of my first order, but I did order wedding dresses, wedding shoes, wedding rings, and what else? Those little clamshells that hold your wedding ring. We're doing a Timu wedding haul soon. These were $2 and they're elephant earrings, but the little trunk is the hook and it has a little heart. Can you see that? Or is that an ear? Oh, I guess that's an ear. Ah, ah. This elephant trunk is thick. So it's gonna stretch your ear hole out a little bit. We're trying not to do that anymore. It only has one finished back, like the rest of these earrings. I'd give these a negative two. They're not it. For a dollar, you can get this. this. This is henna. You take the little prick out. I'm just gonna do hand ones. This is actually my first time. Whoa, you're gonna have to come down here. I want to do some triangles, lines. I don't think it's bad for my first time. Uh, it's definitely not great. You know what that smells like? My cat's litter box. Okay, so this dries for 15 to 30 minutes and then you wash it off and then we'll have the tattoo. You're supposed to be still while this dries. So let's keep going. Oh, cute. These look like my teeth when I was younger. I had cavities and I had silver caps because it was cheaper. Throwback. These are silver teeth. These are 89 cents. They're not heavy. They do look a little cheap. They are cheap. If you can see here, can you see that? How do you get that to focus? Bitch, can you take a class on how to use this camera? Touch it to focus. There we go. Okay, wait, come on. See the little seam? I don't like this little design, but that's okay. They're fun if you're going to the dentist or like what if you were a dentist? Is that job fun? I feel like that's gotta be one of the worst jobs. Not because you're bad. People are scared of you. It's kind of like a clown. It's hit or miss. Still not as great as the last teeth earrings we got off Team these are the ones I'm gonna wear to the dentist next time I go, which my luck will probably be soon. My teeth kind of just fall out. I'd give these a five. Not great, not good. These are nail polish protectors. You get 26 for 89 cents. They look like this, has a little hole here. This goes on your nail like this, so you can paint it without getting on your skin. We're gonna use this from the Dollar Tree, D25. Not to brag or anything, but I have shaky hands. Did it work? Yeah, nine out of 10 for that. That's gonna help a lot, or is it? I mean, I guess I could get closer. Let's give that a seven. I changed my mind, it could be closer. This is a foil cap. Whoa. This was only 44 cents. They are $7 on Amazon. 
for one. The gimmick behind this is when you put your conditioning treatments on or your hair color, whatever, it's mainly for, I mean, I guess you could use it for anything, but I always use them for conditioning treatments. The aluminum helps trap in the heat, opens the cuticle, so the product can penetrate in the hair shaft and makes the treatment work better. This is a 10 out of 10 to get these on Timu, and it's the same damn thing that you get on Amazon. I've got another bonnet. This is a silk bonnet. It was $3, and it says it's real satin or silk. What? I don't think so. This ties in the front so you can make it really tight. And they had them in a bunch of different colors. Oh, I like that. It's got plenty of room if you actually have hair, unlike me. This tie is going to be great. This could be shorter, but we can figure that out. Is that sexy? Let me know. I love a good bonnet for when you're sleeping so your hair is not like rubbing all over your pillow, breaking it, splitting it. You know what I mean? So this is great. I'm gonna give this a solid eight just because I don't think that this is real satin, but that's okay. It's good, good enough. I did notice on Timu they can just lie a lot. That's fine. That, is that fine? That's not fine. Okay more earrings. These are moth earrings. Do you see that? It's a green moth. It's got a hoop. Oh wow. Look at that. Sexy alert. When you get up close though it's kind of lacking in the detail. It's good from far away. On the back it doesn't have anything. I like these. I probably won't wear these again. I didn't realize it was a hoop. I'm not wearing hoop earrings. Not anymore. What happens when something gets caught in the hoop and drags it? Like the hairbrush. I like the look but to me it's kind of like those nails. <laughs> Big ass nails with all the stuff on them. I'm not upkeeping that. I'm not cleaning them. I'm not gonna worry about tapping with my knuckle. To me, it's not worth the trade off. Looks are never worth comfort. When I was younger though, I was wearing those hooker heels. I was wearing them. Now, girl, I'll catch you in a pair of Skechers, okay? I'm not gonna be wearing hooker heels and hoop earrings anymore. I'm gonna give these a three. These are covering patch stickers. You get 60 for a dollar fifty. It says that they will cover scars, tattoos, or scald. What's a scald? Burn. It's supposed to be breathable, breathable, durable, comfortable, and odorless. Why was that hard? Ready? Woo! We'll try it on this F as in Frank. Can you still see it? Yes. It does kind of match my skin, but it's shiny. It should be matte and it's see-through, transparent. It would cover it kind of mildly, but the shine gives it away. I like the concept for that, but that is not gonna work. I'd give it a negative two. These are toothpaste squeezers. How does that work? Put the toothpaste in here. The hell? Okay, well, I was gonna use this for hair color, but this is this seems complicated to use. How do you do that? I'm just not gonna rate it because I think I'm doing it wrong. These little color keys work fine and it will work for toothpaste. Last pair of earrings, they are eggs and they look hand painted, right? Did somebody hand paint that? Ah. Oh, that's beautiful. Is that beautiful? They are a little heavy, but nothing crazy. Again, it just has one finished side and an unfinished side. These kind of look weird on. Does it look like an egg? You'd have to get up close. I do love eggs though. I'm gonna give them a four. They're just it's not for me. Then lastly for Timo, 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 we have lip plumping oil. Lip oil. This was $3.59 for three of these and it's cotton candy flavor. Again, another lip oil from Timu that has kid kind of packaging, but it's for adults. That is weird to me. Because kids shouldn't be plumping their lips, right? Am I right? Like, can we just keep them little? The applicator is weird. It's a little silicone thing. Ooh, that's pretty though. It does burn, it burns. But remember ladies, a little burn is good everywhere except the bedroom. If it's burning, red flag, it may be too late, but get out of there. It doesn't smell like cotton candy. Doesn't taste like cotton candy, but I do like the look of this. It's very shiny, glassy. I don't know if they'll make those white things. You know, I always get those white things build up or whatever white right here. I hate that. I don't know if it's gonna do that, but for a short term review, I'd give this a solid eight. What do you think? Okay, let's wash off our henna. Oh, wow. Okay, it's orange. I thought it was gonna be brown. I guess there's different I guess there's different types of henna. It just looks like I took a Crayola marker and did that, you know, an orange marker. Now we're gonna do Amazon hair extensions. Let's unleash my mullet. I'm happy to report though it has grown a little bit. This is our first set of extensions. We've got the toothpick in there. It's by a company called Hair Cube. They're U-part clip-ins, which just means you'll clip them in in a U-shaping. I'll show you how, come on, come here. You can do it as low or high as you want, but you take a horseshoe parting or a U. For me, since I have a mullet though, actually I probably need to keep it pretty close to the top. This is synthetic hair, which means you can't curl it. 
You can wash it, but with cold water, it's going to stay curly unless you set it, but no heat on this thing. I wouldn't even sit at hibachi with these. You know when they make the volcano onion? This is gonna blow up. These are flammable. Kind of take this and you tease around here. That's gonna help secure the clip, especially if you have really thin, fine hair like mine. Oh, and these are only $16. Unclip these. And then starting on the side, kind of push up and down and then clip that baby in. And it goes all the way around that U-shaped parting. Wow, I look like the great value Dolly Parton. Then you undo this. That's gonna need some work. <laughs> you have to be careful with these things because even just brushing them makes them look really frizzy. Then you can style it your real hair. If you touch the flat iron with that, it's going to melt. So we'll curl that outwards a little bit. You can curl this or you can tuck it in the back, honestly, because basically it's a half a wig. So you don't really need that hair back there, especially if it doesn't match. I would just tuck and roll it, ladies. It just needs a little bit of work and blending, but for just whipping it out of the bag, I think it's good. So the best way to kind of refine this is to clip it on something, take it out of your hair and clip it on, and mix water and laundry softener, the liquid laundry softener. I can't remember the brand, but it's a Spanish name. I'll put a picture up, works the best. Mix that and spray it, and then kind of refine the curls. That's for synthetic wigs. That way it looks more put together. But me, I like that messy, did I just have fun kind of look. The answer is no, but it's possible. How's the back look? Maybe less noticeable to style it in a side pony. They are heavy though. If you're growing your hair out like I am, this is good for if you wanna feel sexy for a day, a night, a period of time, whatever. Pop those in for the price, the quality, even though they look bad right now. I dropped them on the floor a couple times and they got ratty, but I can fix that with the laundry softener. I'm gonna give these a solid eight. These are not bad for $15. Now we have some by a brand called Full Shine. If you've watched any of my hair extension, extension videos, I use this brand all the time, Full Shine for tape-ins. This is their Halo extension clip and it is human hair. It is a little pricey, it's $47 because you can cut, curl this, you can color it if you want. It looks like this, similar to the U-part wig. It has all the clips. The only difference is it is a little bit smaller and it has the elastic band that's gonna go on the top. For these, the best way to do this is to leave out the front right here, these little pieces. And then you're gonna take another horseshoe parting all the way around. This little halo band you can adjust here. And it came with replacement bands because sometimes these do snap. So I'm just gonna move it right there. Then we just snap those in the back. Honestly though, this should have clips right here. I mean, I know the band is gonna hold it up, but should have clips. Anyway, the band is gonna gum, come forward where your parting is. Can you see it? It's that little invisible thing. Then you take your hair down. You kind of have to manipulate the band and then you brush your hair for the band to blend. You can't see the band. I mean, you'd have to be like super, super up close. And these do stay really well. I don't know about this brand. This is not the best halo I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that's a no for me, even with moving it down. In their defense, these halo hair extensions are more for volume. So you already have that length of hair that you want. You just need more volume, but I need more hair right here. This is Hair Cube. It is a very long, ponytail. It's synthetic hair. So again, you can't curl, color, or do anything to this. It kind of is what it is. This is for a sleek braided ponytail look. I am going to take this. You can grab this at Sally's. Pomade Firm Hold. It does have a shine to it though. We're about to slick this mullet back. Going in with the D25 brush from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to do a high pony. It's not perfect, but it will do. Then you can take a metal rat tail, rat tail comb and do this. That will help get those bumps out. Here's the hair. So this part goes on my ponytail like this. Then it has three pieces. You're gonna braid the three pieces with your real hair to blend it together. And then the smaller piece you wrap around to hide the ponytail. I'm not really sure how you would do this without a friend because you're braiding backwards. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna have to go have somebody do this. How's that look? How's that look back there? That looks like I'm wearing a fake ponytail. This piece of hair is supposed to cover, that's not gonna cover that. It's supposed to cover up all this mess. I don't have a bobby pin, but I have a pin curl clip. Even if you put some product in this and kind of fanned it out, did one of these, you could do that with some powder. The color is off. It's not the worst 
fake hair I've ever seen for the blondes, but it's not the best. I guess we could do something like this too. No, we cannot do take that. Do not put this, do not put this in this video. Do you hear me? Edit that out right now. It's heavy, but it does make me feel sassy. I'm not gonna lie. Now the hair glitter, we can put this on now and see what this looks like. Oh, that looks nice. This is going to hide my thin hair, is it? This is cool, but this is gonna clog my shower. So we better just kind of stop there but it looks really neat. I mean, this is a mess actually. What do you think about the glitter? I'm, I don't know about it. The ponytail is definitely a one. You're gonna get a migraine. I look like the lady that works the night shift down here at the 7-Eleven. She's kind of sassy too. Okay, that's better. This would be kind of cool to do like body glitter on the collar, that's not cool, on the collarbone. That's a mess. Just stop while you're ahead, less is more. Oh, wow, you're gonna need to take some Tylenol, Advil, Ibuprofen, or all three, I don't know. That's heavy. Whiplash is your head back. I don't think it's worth the discomfort, but black hair perhaps would look better than this. That concludes this round of junk. As always, I appreciate you joining me here in my bathroom for this, these, whatever these are. I don't know, but it was fun. I hope you have an amazing week. I am so excited for upcoming videos. I'm so excited, especially for the wedding haul. I got some wedding dresses. Oh, I got one that's sexy as a pantsuit. Y'all know I'm an ordained minister. If you need someone to marry you, I could wear that Timu pantsuit and marry you, you know. Or if you wanna renew your vows, or if you wanna get a divorce, I can, legally I can't do anything. I can be there for you for support. Okay, if you wanna get a divorce, I'm I'm all for that. Go on and get you one, treat yourself. I only say that because when I paid, and all, that's all I did, is just pay. I didn't have to study anything to be an ordained minister. They gave me the certificate, certificate to also be a Christian counselor. And I don't know what that means, but I feel like that has something to do with divorce. I can help you with that. Get separate bank accounts is what you need. You need to do that. Don't forget how beautiful and amazing you are. Get that tea, y'all get that coconut tea. It's nice. It would be really nice if you put a lot of honey in it. Anyway, what was I saying? Yes, you're beautiful, you're amazing, and I will see you next time for something cool. Something cool.